Get out of here. Get out of here for business. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Put your hands on me. Get out of here for business. Get out. Okay. I'm. How's it going? Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ontario Audit. We are back again at the Superior Court of Justice, Ontario Court of Justice in Brampton, Ontario. We'll be exercising, peacefully exercising our rights to film in public as per Section 2, Part B of the Canadian Charter of Rights. Let's see how they do over here. Ministry Court of Justice, Superior Court of Justice, Ontario Court of Justice. Hi, sir. Can I help um, you? Hey, how's it going, officer? Good. How you doing? What, what are you doing? I'm just doing some public filming. How's it going? Public filming for what? What's your name, sorry? It's Constable Braille. What's your badge number? It's right on my thing right here. Two six nine six. What are you doing here? Why are you stepping closer to me, sir? Buddy, what are you doing? I'm just doing some public filming. Public filming? Can you go do that somewhere else, please? On my own private property? Yeah, this is public property, but you shouldn't be filming people and stuff. So it is public property? It is. Okay. Can you please leave? Are you acting under the color of law right now? What's your issue, buddy? I just want to exercise my Canadian Charter rights, and you're trying to tell me I can't. You got some mental health issues? <laughs> do you got some mental health issues, really? What was your name again? I already told you. You have my badge. It's 2696. Yeah, I forget your name. What was your name again? You, you got my badge, okay? You rewind your video and you'll know. Okay. Stop trying to bully uh, members of the public off of public property. I'm just asking what you're doing here. I told you what I'm doing. I'm doing some public filming. What's the problem with that? Call your superior. He's going to tell you the same thing. I'm not doing anything illegal. You should just go back to work, officer. Why don't you go home? You should just go back to work. I'm at work right now. I'm working. You're working? Doing what? I'm working on a story. I'm doing some public filming. I'm independent media. Now you're the main story. You're the main character of the story now. <laughs> thinking you can intimidate me, walking up real close to me, you're thinking I'm going to leave. With your, with your, uh, I'm trying to intimidate you with my camera, sir. You have a gun on your hip. I'm literally just doing some public filming. I'm independent media. Always trying to give me unlawful orders. I'm a member of this community. I'm a member of the public. Why do they never treat me as a member of the community? Just because I have a camera. Get out of here. Get out of here for business. Get out. Get out. Get out. Put, put, put your, your hands, hands on me. Business. Get out, okay? I'm allowed in here. It's a public lobby, not, officer. Not unless you're here officer, for will you arrest me if I enter this public lobby? If you try to come in here again, you will get arrested, okay? Leave. Okay, thank you. Do any of you ladies work here, by the way?
It's a public lobby, buddy. You just set yourself up for a lawsuit. You can't just kick people off public property because you feel like it, Constable Braille. All right, so Constable Braille's ducking and hiding. So we're gonna go across the street to the police station, Peel Police Station, I believe, and write up a complaint for him. I'll see you guys over there. All right, so we are now at the Peel Regional Police Station at 7750 here Ontario Street. I'll be going in to get a complaint form. May not be filing it today because I cannot make an anonymous complaint and have to put my name down. And uh, at this point, I'd rather them not know my name. So I'll be going in getting a complaint form and then we'll have to do another follow-up video. I know I said I'd do follow-ups on my other videos. Those are on the way. Don't worry about that. Well, well, look what we have here, folks. Premises under video surveillance right next to the photography audio or video recording is prohibited let's go over to the public side and we'll see if they actually let's wait right here Wow, why did you touch me like that? Don't don't touch me like that. Do you think you're above the law and you can just touch me? What's your name, officer? Constable, what's your name and badge number? You want to put your hands on me and assault me? You think you're above the law? What's your name and badge number, sir? Don't gotta tell you nothing. No, you have it on your you have it on your vest, no, not displaying. Tell. It's not. The Canadian Police Services Act says you should have it displayed. So you're not going to give me your name? It's not part of my uniform. So you just assaulted me and now you're not going to give me your I name. You don't want to be held accountable, huh? Push your camera out of my face. Thank you for saying that on record. You know that that's a summary offense? Did you know that that's a summary offense, officer? Did you know that you, you just admitted to a summary offense on camera? How do you feel? You're a real clown, eh? How many people's rights you violate every day, man? God. Pull people over and tell them you smell weed in the car? You're pathetic, buddy. You could have just came and said hi to me. Then why are you following me? Because you just assaulted me, bud. You've been following What's your me name and badge lunch. number? You've been following me since lunch. I wasn't following you over there. And even if I was, yeah, what does it are. matter? Buddy, I don't care. Am I you breaking the law? You can talk with me. You can try to get under my skin. I just want but your name and badge number. Work. I just want your name and badge it number. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> so you assault me. What if I touch your camera? What would you do? I didn't assault you. What would you do if I touch that taser right there? Find out. <laughs> See, but, but, I, but you can't find out when you touch me because you're above the law. You don't even have to identify yourself. It's not the case, dude. You're that just, clearly is just, the case. You're just trying to start something. Sir, I would have said hi to you all that, but you came and you said... Oh, you can say hi to me dude, now. Dude, you went well, like that? I was like, oh, wicked, this you guy's awesome. Say, and then you came and went, boom, oh, hit my hand and, and said, my camera. In your mind, you're like, yeah, wicked, I got this guy's attention, which is what I've been trying to do. Brother, you clearly have no idea what I do out here. Well, I exercise my rights peacefully. I hold do? government officials accountable. I do not... How do you do that? How do you hold government officials accountable? What is maybe, it that you're maybe doing you should look into me. Maybe you should look into me. I don't really want to because I don't care. I've got multiple complaints from I got officers myself, in Durham. I got myself to worry about. I don't need to worry about you. Clearly you need people like me to hold you accountable because you think you can just go around touching anybody's equipment, touching did anybody's... You, did you see that happen? You got up in my face with your camera. How's it going? 
So what kind of reaction do you think? I got on your face. It's all on film, that? brother. That's why I film. That's why I do what I do. To, yeah, you to want to agitate, tell me that I walked up on you? To agitate is exactly what you I've got you for. on film multiple times lying now and admitting to a summary offense. Just because you narrate something doesn't mean that that's what happened. It just, it's on film, brother. You can film, say brother. whatever you want on your camera, dude. It's on film. You know why? The only people that are going to watch that are your friends, if you even have any. Okay. You think that's going to get you views? All right. Yeah, I'm a nobody, man. I just upload to nobody. You might. Maybe you have people that follow you. Oh, maybe I do now. Maybe you don't. Look, Constable, do you it want to start matter. on a fresh foot? Do you want to start on a brand new page? Sure. I'll give sure. you an opportunity. Sure. Keep what's your, na what's your name and badge number? Go. Sir, sure. Keep what's your name and badge number, sir? Go. You're not getting it. Okay, well, then we can't start on a fresh... I'm not obligated to tell you. I don't care what your name is either. My name shouldn't matter. It shouldn't be relevant. It does matter because you just assaulted me, I sir. I didn't assault you. You grabbed my camera. You touched my camera. You already admitted it. There's no reason to, to lie now. Okay. So touching somebody's property is an assault now? Yes. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's and a I'm summary gonna, offense. I'm not going to dispute with you. You didn't just touch my camera as well. You touched my hand too. You physically put contact to, to me, sir. Dude, you're trying to get a first Dude, what? That's the one you want. You're just talking, sir. I'm trying to get your name and badge number. Because I want to hold you accountable because you just assaulted me. You still and you can. clearly think I'm that you're above the law. You still can. I'm not hard to find. Well, how do I find you then? Well, you've been following me around all day. How, how am I supposed to get your name? You can figure it out. Your Peel you Regional gotta, Police refusing to identify to a member of the public oh, who you just assaulted. To, I'm not obligated to identify myself to you. So, you're obligated to have your name displayed somewhere. No, I'm not. That's in the Police Services Act. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You have a nice day. You go run and hide in your courthouse. It's not that I'm trying to run and hide. I got business to do. Unlike yeah, you. trying to assault me again, man. Yeah, run and hide. Tell your boys. Peel region, ladies and gentlemen, Peel region. Now look at this guy. Now that guy's like inciting other officers against me. <laughs> well, we need to find out that man's name and badge number ASAP. So we're back at Peel Regional Police Station after being assaulted by two officers. We've interacted with two Peel region officers and we've been assaulted twice. The tyranny is real out here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna need some backup out here. I am starting to fear a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like they may conspire on me, follow me back to my car, which doesn't really happen because I'm, I move, I, I'm pretty good at hiding my car from law enforcement. This could get, hopefully not bad. This could, this is going to be a great interaction, right? Yeah. Uh, ask the request to speak to the sergeant. Um, one of the constables here uh, came up, pretty much assaulted me, and he refused. He refused to identify himself, and I'd just like to get his name and badge number. Uh, can I get two, please? Yeah. Thanks, brother. No, 
Oh, this is good. This is good. Yeah. Yeah, man, just now. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna have to walk me to what happens then. Are you are you taking the other court? Well I wanna like try to help you out to figure out what happened. Okay, I mean so it was an officer came from the back of your building. Uh, he was in all gray, had a similar vest to you, but has no identification on it, no name, no badge number, no badge number on the side. He walked from here, he went to the courtroom, but on his way, I was on the sidewalk, just filming from the sidewalk and just at the cars and stuff. He walked up to me, he went, grabbed my camera and my hand, pushed it away, and then just kept walking. And I followed him to the courthouse, I asked him, sir, can I get your name and badge number? I want to hold you accountable, you can't touch people like that. And he just went in the courthouse. I, I, could, I could show you a picture. Pen? Pen SR. Pen Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Alright, guys, so we are in the lobby of the police station. We have a very uh, young and senior professional officer who's willing to help me identify this individual. Stand by. So I just showed Sarge the video. He's clearly taking the guy's side. Clearly taking the guy's side. I, I, I'm sorry guys, I couldn't record while I was showing him the video, but uh, He's pretty much asking me what I'm doing around here and why I'm filming. Never once asked anything about the cop assaulting me or anything like that. Yes. What's your last name, sir? I'd rather remain anonymous, sir. Well, I just tried to, try to get the people I'm talking to, right? So, yeah. what was the problem with your name? I just haven't committed a crime or anything like that. I'm just not legally obliged to get my name. Fair enough. You guys will get my name on this report, though. I can't I can't file anonymous my name. No? Okay. Thanks, sir. And uh, just a quick question, sorry. What's your name, sir? Cole. Last name's Cole. See you. Oh. Yeah, I'm, my, name, my first name's Jay. Nice Jay? to meet you. Okay. Yeah. Right, uh, so, sorry. So, so, I mean, you witnessed that, right? So, are, are you going to do anything? I'm not a witness. I, I, you can follow your own report. Your interpretation of what happened, my interpretation, are independent. Yeah, so, I'm not a witness. You, you, don't get to, video. you don't get to name me as a witness. I saw the video. No, no, not naming me as a witness. Saying, like, what are you going to do as his So, when you go through OIRPD, so I know this is a, you don't know what I'm asking you, like, what so there's two are you personally going to do here's, here's, there's two, here's, there's two second, yeah. se separate channels here, okay? Yeah. If you want to make a formal complaint of this alleged assault, then go ahead, that's fine. You have, you have every option to do that. So if you're asking me to talk to him about the incident and gather information, that's an independent complaint through us where I can come up with mediation and talk to him and say, hey, if somebody puts your phone in your face, don't push the phone out of the way. Or don't try to block it. Because he says that your phone, he pushed the phone into his face. What if he says that? And who am I to tell him that's right? I can't, I don't get to make that decision on whose interpretation. Based on the angle of that camera, I can't say it's no different than you going like this. And someone just going, hey, get that out of my face. It can, it can, it can be a, there you go, right? See? I mean, hold on, here, I have the Here you go. Here you go. Jay, here's my example. I have full spatial awareness of my ability of what I'm doing right now. There you go. But he doesn't know that, and you didn't know that. You know what so does I know that? The cameras that are looking outside the building and like feeding the information request. You have all the right to do that, Jay. I'm not saying you can't. I'm not here to try to sway you any either one way. I'm impartial, okay? Um, I don't understand why you're on your phone, but you're welcome to do that. Like you said, that is your civil right, and I'm not sitting here. I can tell you don't do it, it's not fair, we work hard, we have a tough job as it is, and other people make it harder for us. I can try to tell you all that, but I have a feeling you're probably not going to listen to me on that, so that's fine. We can agree to disagree, 
I believe I have been a lot more. So do I. I'm, 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 I'm not and saying that. Yeah. What I just hope you do is I hope you personally want to talk things here and do that. I'm going to file my phone with but I personally hope that you would have it. I will, talk to, him. I will talk to him, but the problem is, the thing is, it's not fair to double dip on something, right? It's, if, if he's going to deal with a complaint and he has to deal with it through a formal command, that's one thing. So it's not my place to say whatever I have to say to him because he's going to have to deal with the complaint formally in a different way. If you said to me, if you said to me, you know what? I don't even want to do this any further. I want this to be done. Can you just please talk to him on my behalf? I'd absolutely do that. But I don't, it doesn't get to get both. It's not fair for him to take it both ways because he doesn't have an opportunity to defend himself. Is that fair? Uh, not really in my view, but we're different humans, right? And I really appreciate your professionalism and uh, giving me his name. Thank you. Hey, thanks for your help, guys. Guys, we're just getting out of the Peel Regional Police Station. Uh, I'm gonna need your help on this one, guys. I'm gonna need you guys to peacefully address your government, file complaints on these two officers who assaulted me. That's gonna be Constable Braille. And we got it, folks. Constable Finney, 3111. I will be linking Constable Braille's badge number down low as well along with Constable Finney, who thinks they are above the law and they can assault a citizen exercising his Canadian rights. Make sure you guys hit that like, subscribe button. We'll be back for a follow-up on this one, guys. Trust me. Ontario Audit, we are off of this. Take care, guys.